Thornhill. Bad news, Mr. Speaker. Canadians are seeing even higher inflation today. Now we know for sure, again, that Liberal deficits drive Liberal inflation. And the Finance Minister's last budget is driving every Canadian household 4200 bucks more into debt. Where is the accountability? Where are her answers? And why does she talk to Canadians like they're in kindergarten? The effect of her own failures is playing out right in front of her very eyes. Does she not see what everybody else sees? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the people who talk to Canadians as if they're in kindergarten are the Conservatives. The Conservatives behave as if Canadians do not understand that the judge of Canada's fiscal responsibility is not overheated conservative rhetoric. The judge is the ratings agencies, and they have reaffirmed Canada's AAA rating. Conservatives do not understand that we, in fact, have the lowest deficit in the G. I'm sorry. I'm, it's just that, that chatter that's going on. It, uh, maybe go back about 15, 20 seconds and start from there, about three-quarter way, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all, Mr. <laughs> Speaker. So, Canadians understand that Canada has a very strong fiscal position. We have the lowest deficit in the G7. Our AAA rating was reaffirmed by S&P after I tabled my budget. Canadians also understand that... Con Contrary to what the member opposite suggested, it's not the government that sets interest rates, it's the Bank of Canada. And the Bank of Canada looks at CPI trim and median, both of which went... Honourable member for Thornhill. The judges of the, Canadian are, of the Canadian economy are the families who cannot pay their bills. The finance minister's budget of broken promises speaks to her own credibility. She told Canadians that we would see a declining debt-to-GDP ratio a line that she would not cross. She crossed it. She projected an eventual surplus. She spent $60 billion instead. She told Canadians that she would balance the budget in five years, and now it's never. And today, again, inflation is on the rise. That means everyone in Canada pays more for everything. She is not the victim. Canadians deserve answers, and wh when will they get them? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, uh, what we see day in, day out, as the world uh, reels from the effects of a pandemic, uh, when we deal with the global effects of inflation, where Canada is doing better than the G7 average, the G20 average, uh, and they can yell across as much as they want, Mr. Speaker. But the difference is we have a finance minister who's trying to protect and ensure that children get dental care, that we have an opportunity when we're dealing with child care, and that's what they're talking about, Mr. Speaker, is cutting these programs so they can attack, they they can be partisan, that's what they do, but underneath it, it's about cuts, it's about not being there, and it's misrepresenting world events.